Welcome to another edition of the Tiger Men's Basketball Report. I'm your host, Spiro Marikas, along with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. And Coach Charleston had won nine straight ball games. They're amazing at home. Sellout crowd last Thursday night. Your team was able to build up a lead in the first half. Then eventually at halftime it was tied, but then you pulled away in the second half, able to hang on and beat a very, very tough Cougars team. Yeah, certainly are proud of our guys. You know, our, our best overall effort of the season. They're very well coached. They're talented, and as you said, a, a great, great environment to play in. So we did a lot of things well, and then I think, like anything, um, you know, Christian May and then the Tark made some really big shots late in the game in order to help us kind of hold on. One thing that I heard it from being the double-digit game that it was throughout most of the second half was free throw shooting, which I'm sure as a coach is really frustrating because you can coach defensive stances, you can coach all that stuff, but free throw shooting, it could be hit or miss. Well, I always say they're not free. Um, and we're, you know, we are supporters. We're spending a ton of time on it every day, and we've created what we hope are a couple pressure drills we've been going through. and. We've tracked them, and we, we have extra ones. you got to make 100 a day, and guys are in every day. So, you know, I, I, I think it'll stick with us. I think it'll pay off, and I, I have great confidence in, in our guys' ability to make those. Then you had a quick turnaround, get home late Thursday night, Saturday afternoon against Campbell at TU Arena. And the one thing you worry about after a big win like that is maybe a letdown, but your team certainly didn't as you came up with a 32-point victory. Well, we, we had a tremendous second half, right, defensively on the backboards and ball movement. To me, the difference in the game, you know, I want to really thank, um, you know, Steve Eigenbrot and, 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 and Terry Porter, who's our oversight, and President Ginsburg, who came on the trip. We were able to have our first successful charter trip home since I've, I've been there. I know weather was coming in, and we were worried about if we were going to make it back here for the actual game. But the, the fact that we were able to get home that night certainly showed in, in, in the second half. I mean, if you look at Northeastern with that turnaround two weeks earlier, we looked like we were running in sand the last six, seven minutes of the game. So we're really appreciative of that, and I think it showed the investment that we made in what happens on the court. So the Tigers go 2-0 and last week. Home winning streak is now up to 16, one of the top five in the nation. And now you can put that on the line against a team that hasn't lost yet in the CAA, the Drexel Dragons, led by Justin Moore and Amari Williams. Moore, the guy that runs the offense, he's got 70 assists, averages 13 points, and Amari Williams, arguably maybe the big, big best man in the conference. Well, I mean, they're in first place, and, um, you know, I, I have them in the top 10 in the mid-major uh, college insider poll that I'm, that I'm a part of. They're, they're a terrific team. I'm, Zach Spiker's a good friend. I'm, re I'm really happy for him. He has done an outstanding job at Drexel. Until 7 o'clock Thursday night. Until 7 o'clock Thursday night. It, but they're a complete team. I mean, Amari Williams is a pro. He, he, I believe he will play in the NBA. Justin Moore is a, a terrific quarterback. Um, and don't forget, Okris and House are, are great veteran players. They added the kid Monroe from Penn, who's been a terrific addition. And they're deep. You know, guys like Bergen and McGee off the bench. Garfield Turner. So it's a very good team. They're good defensively. They're big. They're deep. They're physical. They're an outstanding rebounding team. And then they can really, really shoot the basketball. So it, it, it's a high-level game on Thursday night, and that's what the top of the league is. Our guys know they've got to, we've got to do a lot of things at a, at a really efficient level in order to play with Drexel. The other thing is, is they're a rarity in these days is that they basically brought back their whole team which you don't see too much anymore. No, you, you know, I think that it's a credit to Zach uh, and his staff and, and the environment that they've created that, the, you know, and, and that they're committed and that the kids wanted to come back there. And um, I got parting gifts for a bunch of those guys, early graduation gifts or grad school gifts so that hopefully we never have to see them again. <laughs> well, something you may never see again after this week is the Bob Carpenter Center because with Delaware leaving, and the schedule being in flux every year. We don't know if Towson will play Delaware on the road next year or not, but the Blue Hens, you will travel to Newark on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, national TV game. Uh, Delaware's really talented. You know, um, Inglesby's, you know, Martin's done a great job there, and then it'll, you know, it'll be 
we lose a great rivalry with them. Have a lot of great games over the years. But you know, it starts with Jair Davis. I mean, he's as hard a cover as there is in the league. You know, Almost Christian, 19 points. Yeah, a game, Christian yeah. Ray's back from LaSalle, and they added some other high-level transfers. Drum Gould from Pittsburgh, Niles Lane from from Florida. So it, it's a veteran team. You know, Delaware's not going to turn the ball over. They've got a lot of weapons on offense, and, and they do a great job of controlling tempo and changing defenses. So this is a big week. I mean, you can really, really make a move here this week. You know, these teams are at the top of the league, so they, they both present different challenges and, and hard games, and we'll put everything we have into Drexel, and hopefully that gives us the best chance to have success, and then it's the way the league is. Then you get to jump on the bus and head up there and Hope for some success on in a tough environment Saturday. And congratulations to Tyler Tejada for winning the uh, Rookie of the Week this week in the CAA, second week in a row for him. So for the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary, I'm Spiro Marikas. Jimmy Patsos and I will have a call for you Thursday on MeTV, and I'll have it for you on TowsonTigers.com Saturday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, go Tigers.